but we should rather follow the wisdom of nature. I hold that completely erroneous. Views should be shunned. Not a few other very eminent and scholarly men made the same request, urging that I should no longer through fear refuse to give out my work for the common benefit of students of mathematics. I have at length allowed my friends to publish the work as they had long to sought me to do, although all the good arts serve to draw man's mind toward better things. This function can be more fully performed by this art. Nations are not ruined by one act of violence, for I am not so enamored of my own opinions that I disregard what others may think of them. Every light has its shadow, and every shadow hath a succeeding morning. Of all things visible, the highest is the heaven of the fixed stars. Those things which I am saying now may be obscure, yet they will be made clearer in their proper place. Let no one expect anything certain from astronomy which cannot furnish it lest he accept as the truth ideas conceived for another purpose. Moreover, why Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars, when they rise in the evening, appear greater than when they disappear and reappear with the sun? So if the worth of the arts were measured by the matter with which they deal this art which some call Astronomy, others astrology. Astronomy is written for astronomers. To them my work to will seem, unless I am mistaken, to make some contribution. More stars in the north are seen, not to set, while in the south certain stars are no longer seen to rise. I shall now recall to mind that the motion of the heavenly bodies is circular, since the motion appropriate to a sphere is rotation in a circle. In first place we must observe that the universe is spherical. The motion of the earth can unquestionably produce the impression that the entire universe is rotating. Moreover, since the sun remains stationary, Whatever appears as a motion of the sun is really due, rather to the motion of the earth. Trismegistus calls it a visible god, Sophocles Electra, that which gazes upon all things, and so the sun governs the family of stars which wheel around. At rest, however, in the middle of everything is the sun, the strongest affection, I think, promote the studies concerned with the most beautiful objects, the universe's divine revolutions, the stars, motions, sizes, distances, since nothing stands in the way of the movability of the earth, I believe. We must now investigate whether it also has several motions, so that it can be considered one of the planets. If then the earth also performs other motions, they must necessarily be like those which are similarly apparent in many external bodies in which we find an annual orbit. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more video.